I realize that I have not had a garden update in a long time, and there's a real good reason for that. This is the garden. We had a long, very hot drought, and we finally had a few weeks of rain. It looked like everything's going to be normal. I replanted the garden, and now we're back in another drought, or I have a second burn ban for the year. You can see there the two cherry trees that we had earlier this year. There's the one. There's the other. It's got a little bit of silkworm in it. They're struggling, but they're still alive. They've been here a long time. I wasn't worried about them. Here's the peppers. Only one of them survived, and it's not doing well. My second round of, of cucumbers and squash was doing pretty good till the pigs came through. Oh, look, there's actually a squash there, but it's rotting. They just rooted it all up. You can see I got a little bit of collard greens there. Not much. And the carrots, well, they didn't do anything either. We did get one watermelon, pretty decent sized watermelon. There's still a little cantaloupe in there, but I don't look for him to do anything. And that's about it. Tomatoes. Just ate up by bugs and lack of water. Here's the golden delicious apple. It started to come back after the first drought was over and we got some rain and then the second drought came. Not doing nothing. The only thing I really got out of the garden was the basil. I just pulled it up the other day. This is the Thai basil which is fantastic and this is regular sweet basil. There's my grapevine. Took a lot of watering and fertilizing and struggling to get it that far. So it grew maybe two foot since I put it in the ground. Both of my blueberry bushes died, but I finally did get the red rat or the black raspberry in here where the red raspberry was and it died. But I had it in a pot, so it had a head start. I've been watering it. I'd rather have black raspberries any day. They're way better. And, and during the rainy season in the end of July, I put this in to spearmint it'll take over the whole yard if you let it first it's got to get a chance what I'm doing now you might have noticed my earlier video where I cleaned out the chicken pen well there's the second layer of what I got out of the chicken pen I put down a layer of the, the chicken stuff and I covered it with a layer of grass and now I put a second layer down then I watered it real good and as you can see I went and got me a nice layer of grass to put on top of that I'm gonna water it again Got the rest of my wood split. After I do that, after I get done with that, I'm gonna use the tractor and haul the wood splitter back over, way back there where the chicken pin's at. Way back there in that shed, you see a little bit of it over there. That's, that's where the splitter goes. Now I could drag it over there by hand, but it's a whole lot easier to just stick it in that bucket. And this is our Honeycrisp apple. I mean, I didn't bother weeding it. Because the weeds were the only thing growing and they were struggling. Between the deer, the pigs, and the drought, just the garden didn't do anything this year. But with a compost pile like that, going into winter, I might be able to grow something next year. By next spring, that should only be about a foot tall. It'll rot down that much. There's a lot of grass clippings in there. Two cleanings of the chicken pen. All the feathers from the clean from cleaning those four chickens. There's lots of good stuff in there. So we might have a better garden next year. I'm gonna have to buy a tiller though. Anyway, I just wanted to give you that update. I haven't updated garden stuff since back in June, I think. Because everything dried out, everything died. And then I replanted it, and then it dried out and died again. Oh well, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. There's a lot more coming here on Spring Holler Farm.